And today, we're making homemade bombs. 150, 160, he's gone. What's up guys, welcome back to the garage and today we are gonna be making our first set of homemade Tannerite targets. Now, let me get some of the boilerplate stuff out of the way real quick. Number one, I am not a lawyer. Nothing you see on here or here on here is considered legal advice. Check your local laws and regulations and whatever the fuck all else. Number two, explosives are dangerous. If you blow up something like Tannerite, I mean, it's, it's no different than a fertilizer bomb, really, or dynamite or anything else. Uh, if you guys don't believe me, there's a video on YouTube where they put 40 pounds of Tannerite in a Jeep and it looks like a fucking movie explosion. The whole thing just blows apart. We're not going to be making those kind of quantities here today, but uh, it is really dangerous and really explosive and you really can get hurt uh, if you don't know what you're doing and you fuck up. So, how do you make Tannerite? Well, tannerite is nothing more than ammonia nitrate, this big white bag over here, mixed uh, with this. Aluminum powder, uh, this is research grade, 30 micron, uh, five pounds. Each of these five pound bags are probably about 30, 35 dollars a piece, and this is 25 pounds of ammonium nitrate off Amazon for about 20 bucks. Um, ammonium nitrate is cheap, it's, uh, it's a fertilizer, or it can be used as a fertilizer and basically the big picture here for the kids that slept through science class is separately these two things are very stable um, however if you ignite a metallic powder um, as exposed to oxygen it's going to combust very hot very quickly uh, if you've ever seen videos on demolition ranch or any of those other channels where they shoot magnesium shavings or titanium shavings or aluminum shavings out of a shotgun barrel you get this big flamethrower effect. And the reason that is that the metal uh, exposed to oxygen, high temperature, kicks it off, chain reaction, catches fire. Now what tannerite is, is it's a, what's called a binary explosive. And what happens is when you hit this with a round, there's enough energy transport to ignite the aluminum powder. The aluminum powder, in turn, uh, burns hot enough that it ignites the ammonium nitrate, which stores, has a lot of chemical energy stored in it which then goes boom, you get the big boom. Basically, little boom causes big boom. That's all there is to it. Now, uh, tannerite is mixed 95% uh, ammonium nitrate, 5% uh, aluminum powder. So, uh, I got a scale here, a little shipping scale, we're gonna weigh everything out. Now, uh, in the state of Texas, binary explosives like tannerite, uh, you're allowed to make them at home, you're allowed to make them as big as you want, but you're not allowed to transport it mixed on public roads. Once it's mixed, it's basically, you consider that as like, you know, setting it from, setting a firearm from safe to fire. Right now, the way it's sitting on the table, completely harmless. Um, I mean, I could, I could probably shoot this, I could shoot this bag with a bullet right now and, and nothing would happen. Uh, conversely, if I shot this, you get a little bit of a, of a burn or an explosion maybe, but you wouldn't get a big, a, a big deal, a big explosion. However, once they are mixed, they are no longer safe. Uh, and at least in the state of Texas, you cannot transport tannerite mixed on public roads. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna weigh out our ammonium nitrate in half pound increments. We're gonna make half pound exploding targets uh, in these Ziploc bags. And then we're going to weigh out the uh, ammonium nitrate and put it in these tiny little Ziploc bags. And that way tomorrow when I go out to the range and shoot these for you guys, I can I already have everything pre-mixed. Basically we just dump it out, shake it up, stick it on the target, shoot it, and it goes boom. So let me get this up set up and uh, we'll start making uh, our measurements. Now, since we're doing half pound targets, um, half a pound is 226 grams, so we're going to put this into grams, or I guess kilograms here. And now we're just going to take this ammonium nitrate and we're going to put it into this baggie. Okay, so this is a sandwich size Ziploc baggie. That is 226 grams, which is should be about half a pound. 0.49 pounds in here right now. So the thing I did was I labeled this bag with a number one, and now we need... 12 grams of uh, aluminum oxide powder, and we're going to see if that'll fit in here. I don't know if that's going to work or not. The bag is also labeled the number one, so when we get out to the range tomorrow, I don't have to be guessing. 
all right well we're out here at the range and so Simon started mixing now I don't have a high speed uh, or high speed rifle or any sort of rifle really uh, so what we're gonna be using is we're using our 12 gauge filled with these Winchester Super X uh, one ounce slugs they're moving along at about 1600 feet per second uh, so they should be more than enough to trigger this so now we just gotta find our bags thankfully we uh, labeled all of them last night so it should be pretty straightforward and so this is bag number one and baggie number one and so at this point we should be able to just mix this and then go down range and tape it to our target I don't know if the camera's going to be able to capture this in this light but the important part is to get all of these to look gray so uh, you know here's a bag of standard white and there's a bag of gray and you can see it's mixed in there nicely and so what we're going to do is we're just going to bleed all the air out of here real quick and I brought our old friend Mr. Duct Tape and we're going to go down there and duct tape this uh, onto the target hopefully this doesn't blow up my GoPro Well, the cool part is the GoPro is still standing. But take a look at that. So that, I mean, this thing is a... This is a heavy piece of steel. This is not some sort of trivial type shit. Uh, you know, and this plate and shit is also not, uh, not what you'd call light duty. But you can just see... It just mangled the shit out of that. It's nice and clean though. I mean, other than a big old boom, uh, didn't have too many issues. So bag number one was a half pound. Bag number two is a full pound of Hitterite. The four pound was powerful enough to knock over the GoPro, give it a little bit of a dusting. Whew. Take a look at that. This plate got blown clean off. This thing is a good, like, probably three feet, four feet. Yeah, four feet. One, two, three, four, five feet. Got blown back five feet. This plate right here is pretty good and mushroomed. It's about had it. But other than getting chucked backwards, this thing seems to be in pretty good shape. All right, so bagging number three here uh, is half a pound of Tannerite that went through our uh, our Walmart blender. Did I just miss it? No, I didn't miss it. I hit it dead square on. I guess lessons learned. One pound is better than half a pound. And... Don't grind down tannerite. It's a bad fucking idea because it won't go off. At least not with 1,600 feet per second uh, one ounce slugs. Because uh, I was willing to admit I might have missed that first shot. But there's no way that I missed the other two because the holes were dead nuts in the bag. So it's a shame because the only other baggies I have are all ground down. So we're not going to be able to use those today. Uh, so I'm going to load up my pistol, I think, do a little target practice, and call it a day. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you uh, check out my Instagram at maxworks.com. Keep your eyeballs on my face balls, maxworks forward slash, or backslash, uh, Facebook backslash maxworks. And as always, peace.